Hello everybody. Uh, to generate the image of the Celtic Triquetra, note that I have here um, line number two. Um, I'm using only the letter T for all the commands uh, involving the T U R T L E. And then for number four, I have uh, initializations and definitions uh, starting with the um, initialization of the triquetra size which is 290 the objective of um, defining uh, the triquetra size here is anybody can change the size by making it greater than 290 or less than 290 incidentally the triquetra size that i am using here that i am defining here is the distance look at the right side of the screen uh, from this point here the center of my um, rectangular coordinate system up to this point here and then um, i'm not using the zero zero as the center i'm using zero negative 45 and the zero negative 45 is right here and then the line width i'm using uh, should be uh, visible enough so that the final image of the triquetra will be um, uh, well defined. It is a point uh, zero eight six six of the triquetra size, or approximately um, point zero nine, and then the circle radius. Uh, incidentally that the line width is from yeah this point here up to this point here and then the circle radius uh, it is the radius of the big circle that you see here it is just 0.7 of the triquetra size it is line number eight so it is the distance from the center of the rectangular coordinate system that I am using, I mean the zero or uh, negative 45 up to this point here, the outer edge of the circle. And then I also defined here the arc for number nine because we are drawing the, the arc here three times for the triquetra. Now let me continue with the execution lines here number 20 i'm using um two circles here one filled black and one filled white the objective of this is to come up with one big circle with black line width the center is gonna be white uh, to start drawing that, I first raise my pen and then I go to the center and then I move the turtle forward, circle radius units. Since the direction of my turtle is like this, so yes, I move it. I already uh, traced it here with red ink until I reach this point here. At that point, uh, the direction of the turtle is like this, but I don't want that. I want to draw a circle, so I need to make the direction of the turtle like this, and that's going to be uh, 90 degrees. And that uh, command is line number 24. And then to start drawing the big circle, I put my pen down number 25. And then to make sure that the big circle is filled black, I start with the pill color procedure at number 26. And then continue with the fill color procedure um, number 27. And then I finally draw the big circle with radius, uh, circle radius. So I go round the circle like this, 
Okay. Until I reach my starting point. The moment I reach my starting point here, I will have a big black circle automatically uh, filled black. But remember, I want a smaller circle. Why? So that uh, in the end, I will have a circle with circle with a prominent um, line because the line width is not thin. And then, uh, yes, before I draw the second circle, which is white, I make sure that the radius of the second circle is a bit smaller. Look at this, the next circle radius definition is circle radius minus the line width. Okay, once I have defined the new uh, radius for the second circle, I go up the first line of the loop. I go to the loop the second time and then in number 21, I raise my pen up and then go to the center. So I go to zero negative 45 again, and then I move forward. Note that the last, um, um, note that the last uh, direction of the turtle was uh, upward. So look here in number 31, I missed this somehow. Um, you need to make the direction of the turtle right 90 degrees so that it's going to be uh, the same as the original starting direction of the turtle. Okay, well anyway, um, once we have already traced the new radius here in number 23, remember the new radius is only up to this point here. I hope you can see the arrow head I have there. And then um, I turn the turtle left 90 degrees to prepare to, to prepare a drawing the second circle. And then I put my pen down and then to make sure that my second circle will be white, I start with the pill color procedure again. And then I draw the circle. So I go around the circle like that. Like that. Okay. Until I have the second circle completed. And automatically the second circle will be uh, filled white with the end fill here. So we now have the desired big circle. Oh, created by a line with a specified line width.